All right, thanks to that backlog, it's once again been like two weeks since I last played. I was worried before the break would make me worse at the game, but the oh, last big break man. didn't really have consequences. Because then I start, then I continued my winning streak for a bit. God damn it! Bloop 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 bloop. Just generally annoyed that a bunch of tabs in Windows all had like flashing orange borders, and it's like, shut up! Is my screen tilted based on where my mouse was left. I guess you have to put your mouse in the middle if you're not using it, or the screen will like stay in that direction. Would you look at that, Hypnos? Care to repeat to me the unsolicited advice you just now offered, now that Zagreus is here? Oh, <laughs> well, it is my custom to give pointers to our visitors who come in voluntarily because I do pick up a lot of bits and pieces talking here to everyone about, you know, dying. Zagreus. He told me that I ought to evade more of your attacks next time. So you just watch your back out there because I know your secrets thanks to Hypnos here. Great. <laughs> Great! Oh no, that's not what I want. I don't want her to be smart enough to dodge attacks. That's one of the great advantages I have is that no one in this game is smart enough to like dodge one hit. Even... even once really. <laughs> like they never ever do they they don't react even really they just continually target you and that's it always have more pets for the greatest boy i, re I saw today there's an achievement for petting your dog which i earned a long time ago it's like 10 times or something it's like i think we're well past that because it's just obligatory how dare you need a checklist hello say orpheus I ever tell you I once single-handedly slew a multi-headed bone hydra within the magma fields of Asphodel without so much as breaking a sweat? Probably broke a sweat. It was hell. Like, the fiery part of hell. But yeah, I've slain him, like, every time? My, that is wonderful to hear, my friend. Another in a litany of such heroic deeds, more noble than the heroes of our verse, and even great Achilles over there. I'm glad you think so, mate. These tales of my valorous accomplishments do seem to cheer you up, so I will keep reporting back once I rack up some more. Now, uh... Toss an opal for your Zagreus? No? Just gonna sit there silently. Gotta get that mojo back! No uh, did, do so. did I just do the super fishing run? Look at what I caught, Chef. Oh god, that was the fishing run. Oh my goodness. Five nectars! I just got five nectars, and I couldn't keep track of the rest of it that quickly. Like, a hundred darkness and eighty gems or something. I forgot that run that I failed, which made me sad, uh, was the one where I got all of those, uh, those fish, because they gave me the, the Poseidon at the beginning. What's new? We can buy a key with ten gems, so I could buy ten keys right now if I wanted to. But no, I think we still have more of these to get. Mm hmm. Can I make it? Can I buy gems? Right, so I need to get 150. Ooh. Ooh. 200 gemstones for one Titan's blood. That seems a bit risky. Hmm. Gotta resist. <laughs> I can't afford any of this. Oh wait, I already have the. That's just the Infernal Trove one. I don't care as that as much about that one anyway. No, the one that I really want is a. Uh, the one that increases the amount of money you get from jars, which I guess I maxed out already. So we're good there. Now it's all about start sa saving up these uh these diamonds. And then at some point I'll either just start tuning all my gems and diamonds or I'll mass purchase a bunch of these just so that I can get some milestones. Also maybe it'll progress some other things. And maybe I'll let them clean up and stuff like that. Some of the changes might inspire some dialogue. Several people are missing right now. Nyx, Achilles, Hades, uh... 
I don't think I saw Dusa either, actually. A prophecy's been added to the list. Yeah, but you don't show me which one's new. I have to scroll. And here's always a pet peeve. They have pages. But you instantly st hit the next... You instantly are on the first entry of the next page, so if that was new, it would be immediately marked as not new anymore. So having these kinds of notification systems don't fit with this. What you should always do is you scroll down to like here, and then once you get down to here, when you scroll down by one, it should scroll up so that that's, so you're still here. So the whole screen should scroll by one at this point instead of letting my cursor go lower. Because then I have a buffer before I can get down there so I can see the notification coming. That is the deep. Catch 25 fish and at least one very rare and report to Poseidon. 250 gems. How many? It doesn't tell me my progress, does it? No. Some of these tell me. See, that says progress. 18 out of 30. This one? Uh. Uh, not, doesn't have to be in one run. I don't think you can catch 25 in one run. That seems like a lot. I just had the Poseidon boom and it wasn't even that powerful. I think I caught like eight, maybe. It wasn't really tracked anywhere. So I had to like quickly try to count the notifications when I turn them in at best. Increased boon rarity. You can still just keep pumping into that. Bonus damage against people that have this in them. Yeah, I've never loved the loved this one. Although I guess while well, the speed mm, it definitely could be used to make certain bosses less lethal by just having them do less damage. But I guess at this point I've kind of invested into this one. And now it's maxed out at 50%. I've maxed out this entire screen down to this nightmarishly expensive one. Ugh. Privileged status versus family favorite. Twenty six percent bonus damage versus people that have two status curse effects, but only twenty percent. Meanwhile, this one can just be two point five percent bonus damage per Olympian, and you get like four per run, so it's ten percent right now. If I increase it, it max does it. Okay, it max does it at five, so that'll become twenty percent. So for now, this is stronger in most runs, I think. But it caps out here, whereas this one can be upgraded again, but it's just incredibly expensive. So eventually this could still be good for a big bonus damage thing, and I did build an entire run just around trying to get this effect, where you stack two negative effects on an enemy and then go for that, but, like, this one will become 20% by the end of the run, and I won't even, I won't even have to work for it. <laughs> like, it'll just happen over the course of the run naturally, and that's just more sustainable. Definitely gives you more build freedom. You can still stack negative effects, but you just do them because you want them, which is fine. Increased rarity is just straight up power creep. <laughs> there are set this this whole this is this this is this is just the power creep mirror though. The rogue the roguelike corruption, the part that makes it a rogue light. Although many will say that just not being a turn based grid makes it a rogue light anyway. What's the purpley? Oh, it's the shield again. I didn't spot it at first. I was... Even Skeletor's gone. Skelebro. Skelly Scully. Oh, there he is. Well, we didn't do the full cycle back around. They didn't. They, they actually. Dark Thrust has not landed on the uh, sword at all. So we've beaten the game with this weapon, so now it's time to try this. It's gonna be my fucking scary evil contract punishment thingy run. Okay. Let's see my upgrades. You were as old as time. I still haven't bought any, have I? Even though I beat the game with you. Your special becomes Blitz Disc. It deals rapid damage returning on command. Your attack is not disabled. Blitz disc damage per hit. Deals rapid damage. By special, they mean my throw, right? 
It says rapid damage and you return on command. So I'm picturing that you might throw your weapon and it might like spin in place on your enemy and do damage to them. Then you comes back when you want to if you wanted to add it to a new enemy. Like it might be an attachment. But it's hard to say. The description's vague. After your bull rush, your next special throws multiple shields. Only one bonus shield at first, but you can upgrade it. But it's like a spread shot of shields, I guess. 777 foes slain. Nice round number. Uh, this one just increases my damage. The plus three damage. I mean, I feel like it's pretty obvious I want to know what the Blitz disc does. It feels like it'd be a way of augmenting his build, because right now he does one attack slowly, and he keeps jumping on the enemy over and over again. If my Blitz disc can do da uh, repeat attacks on the same guy, if I'm tr if I'm guessing what it might do correctly, then that's a sta that's how you do stacking debuffs. You put him on your Blitz disc, and you put something else in your main attack. Grant me the aspect of Zeus. Aspect of Zeus. Oh. Oh, it does stop. Oh, and it slowly comes back to you. So in short, I was right. Almost. It doesn't lock onto the enemy and spin on them. But it does do repeat. A t that's a really... Like... Obviously, if, if, if you get it to the spot, like, if you fight around... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, if you fight around it, then you can take advantage of the fact that it does damage in an area. You can be like, haha, yeah. Come over to my Blitz Disc and fight me over here. But apparently, if you get too close to it... Not that close, though, but if you enter the... Never mind. I'm wrong again. It has a timer. Yeah, I'm standing inside of it and it's not coming back to me. So I can fight in it and take advantage of that. And I still have my attack. Yep, I just have another copy of the shield. And I can still dash around. That really changes things up. I guess the next question is, does it have, does it have a timer for returning to me if I stay away from it? How long... Mm, how long did it take before... No! No! It can chase me! I think it might have a time. I got a little close that time, so I might have triggered it on accident. Or I might just have a timer where it chases me eventually. But it's it, it keeps working, even when it's chasing you. So I could be dashing around the room, and my dash could be leaving a puddle on the ground if, with certain effects. And my disc can just be continually active ch behind me. And if I'm dashing around, it's actually pretty easy to avoid. Or not. <laughs> Or I can immediately fuck up. The return's pretty slow, though. Even when I tell it to... So that is the thing. I can tell it to return whenever I want to, though. And then it, be then it enters the state. It is, it is actually kind of hard to stay away from. If I'm doing my dashes, which is how this weapon works mostly. Huh. Well. Time to pick which thing I want to start with. Probably Poseidon, because of knockback effects. That's probably a pretty safe starting point whenever you're using this build. But should I focus specifically on stacking negative effects? Hmm. I'm always so biased in, fa in favor of Dionysus. But like he does have a stat he does have that nice stacking bad bad effect, which putting on my shield could be nice. Having an AoE slow for crowd control reasons could be interesting. For Demeter. Having that shield out there doing stuff while also having my turrets out there doing stuff could be interesting. I haven't... Yeah, let's just do something different. Let's... Let's fucking... Let's just do... Let's just try not to do the same thing every time. Uh, and see how it goes. Okay, so we've beaten the first meter, so I need to get one heat gauge again in order to justify getting rewards again. All enemies do more damage is a little scary. That immediately fills it, though. Blowing out the heat gauge isn't going to do me any favors here. 
Get healed a bit less. Prices go up. 40% per rank. 20% more enemies is pretty tame. New boss techniques. One region per rank. Ah. That's less intimidating than I thought. Tartarus first. Okay. So I have to hit rank 3 for Elysium to get more dangerous and rank 4 for Hades to get more dangerous and that's when the real cutoff happens. Okay. That's a pretty easy way to get the next bounty unlocked without it being a huge problem. I was worried about making Hades more dangerous because that's the big decider of whether or not I win a run. A little offering for you, good lady Demeter. I'm deeply grateful for your willingness to aid me in all this. I must acknowledge and accept your thoughtful gift of nectar, Zacrius. Would that the mortals show deference thus. I can't remember if that's new or not. I don't know. Over time, mortals have come to fear Great Demeter, eldest of Olympians, goddess of seasons, bringer of plenty, and taker away of it. I cannot imagine she is moved by any of their offerings. Much is said of her in hushed tones, but unlike the ones reserved for the master here, once, uh, uh, not unlike the ones reserved for the master here, so Hades. Once she administered her gifts of sustenance with generosity until some stroke of fate befell. She changed and has never been given as giving since. Oop, press the joystick on accident. The mortals who once prayed for her, uh, prayed to her for plenty now beg mostly for mercy. Let's see, I should review her boons, specifically her duos and her legendary, let's see. Chill afflicted flows shatter at 10% health, inflicting chill nearby. Does that work on bosses? Do bosses explode? Does shatter just mean that they do a damage thing and they give chill to everyone nearby, or does it mean what I think it what it could what like it doesn't technically say that it'll do this, but when I hear something will shatter, I think it dies. <laughs> So I'm like, oh, will a boss just die at 10% health and just skip the last 10%? But technically it doesn't say it kills them. It's just that it says shatter, which you would think kills them. It sounds pretty deadly for someone to shatter. Whoa. Decay damage is added whenever all foes are chill afflicted. So 20 damage, so 40 damage per second. It doesn't say how long it lasts, because I think it's I think it's just yeah, it's every for the entire time that everybody is chill afflicted. So that's pretty strong. If I can get that on a boss fight, that should still happen to them. Might be sometimes a little hard to hit both bosses in Elysium, but Hades, whenever he's alone, like just hit him and he just gets a free dot on him. But I think every single thing he throws at you or summons counts as an additional enemy. So that it might be really hard to do during a boss fight, actually. Might be actually easiest to do during Elysium where there's only two of them. Even the first boss adds has a bunch of adds throughout the fight that aren't very close to her. Whereas the second boss, yeah, the second boss is chaos. Third boss is just two enemies though that are both attacking you. Just have to hit them both once every eight seconds. It's pretty easy. Let's see. Your cast moves slowly, piercing foes and firing shards around it. Blizzard shot. So she has another cast. Or oh, this is the boot. So this is like a. This says that you have to have flood shot. So I think that means you have to have Poseidon's cast. This one makes your cast stronger and track enemies better. So this is if you have Crystal Beam. So if I want to have Crystal Beam and make it stronger, then I want Artemis. Whereas if I'm special, if I want her, if I want the Crystal Beam, then Poseidon's not great for me because their duo is based around his one. 
Yep. Uh, Dionysus's duo is also about his cast. Your cast blasts an area with freezing festive fog that chill that inflicts chill. So festive fog adds chill to it. Jolted effects do not expire when foes attack. Oh. So Jolted just lasts for 10 seconds every time that they do any attack. If you have no death defiance, your blot slowly recovers your health. One life regenerate, uh, one health per second, basically. It's not amazing. It's not amazing, but it's not bad, I guess. God, you have to have a... Oh, you only have to have one of each of those things, because there's no specific thing it attaches to. I think Static Discharge is just what gives you Jolted in the first place. So Zeus should be fine. So Zeus Artemis should be good. Another Crystal Beam. Your, your, cast fire, uh, crystal, your cast crystal fires its beam directly at you for plus four seconds. Oh. So your beam will la your your crystals will last four seconds longer and do thirty percent more damage, but they'll just shoot you directly. So you have to like get on the other side of your enemies and trick them into go going through the laser. Pretty controllable during boss fights, but it does it makes you have to it means you have to aim the whole thing. She might be good though, especially if I put all my beams down. Cast inflicts chill. Uh, that's that's a uh, that's for Ares' cast. So, name. What is your name? Oh, it is your name. Not Persephone. I fucking lost it. Why do I? Why am I losing her name lately? It sounds like vaguely like hormones or something or something that not the word hormones but like there's some It's like all of these most of so many of these names inspire modern worlds in various ways But I don't, I don't have anything to hook on to to get it back fuck so her so heart Zeus Artemis I like the sounds of those ones We'll see how those ones go Let's see if I can get those ones and see if that'll make, go together. Aphrodite! Aphrodisiac. There we go. It's like, why can't I fucking think of anything? Our family. Why, I think we understand something of loss now, don't we, Zagreus? Unlike the mortals on the surface. Always begging me for plenty. They'll get none. But as for you, I have a plethora to offer. Crystal Beam! Epic! Right out the front! I'm not even gonna read the rest. It's literally what I had in mind immediately at high at high level. And I, yeah, I do have my three cast thing enabled. For a moment there I was worried I maybe didn't grab that this time. Which would've been bad. So I think I have to face the right direction or I won't work correctly. Yeah. You're in my way. So this is some nasty focus damage. <laughs> All right, so I have that in the first room. We'll see how this run goes. Oh yeah, I have to call it back. Or it'll take a while. Although I was leaving, so it wasn't gonna matter. Out of my way. He just exploded. I remember not to hammer that button. It's a little clunky, so it'll take some getting used to. Mmm. I want Aphrodite. But this could be good. Shit. Well, I, I have had an uncertainty I want to test, so I'm going to go in the Chaos Gate, and we're going to test. Is Aphrodite a choice on my way out? 
Because I still can't keep track. So this is chamber two. Like, what What? What if... I'm still compl not sure if this counts as a chamber. Or, I don't, and I think I might have tested at some point and forgotten. This is chamber three, so it counts as one of the rooms. Okay. This is for you, Master Chaos. Everyone beneath the heavens and earth enjoys this stuff. Such an offering. Please, it is not necessary to endear yourself using material means, for it is the thought alone which counts. Yeah, but I gotta fill up all my heart meters on people. <laughs> There's three options. I hope one of them's Aphrodite or. I, I understand mm. that Zeus and all his kin on Mount Olympus think that you are Lord of Hades and the goddess Nyx. I was amused to learn of this deception. Nyx has mothered many of the underworld's own, so why not you? She isn't my birth mother, no, but she is like a mother to me. Do you know her? Oh, I know the goddess Nyx quite well, of course. Though it has been a while since we last communicated, and I fear her. I was not the charitable sort of that man. It is my hope that Nyx is faring well. Special does plus 50% more damage. Oh. Just make my th my thing even stronger. More damage for striking from behind. Attack is increased by 33%. Shit. Kind of want to get my build going, so I don't really want to have the chambers hidden. So let's go for the special. It sucks because it's immediately telling me not to use my cast I just got, but these this part of the dungeon's really easy. So it won't really matter. So just don't Yeah, just don't throw Demeter crystals around. And then my new swirly spin attack will be 50% stronger. Chaos guide me. The fathomless expanses hidden in darkest corners of the underworld stretch well past the notice of Lord Hades himself. And yet, the interfering prince somehow discovers passage there. Wasn't all that hard to find, really. Okay, so I guess that confirms it. If you pick Chaos, then whatever was at the door when you picked Chaos is a missed opportunity. Or is an opportunity you will miss. So I've lost Aphrodite. I'll have to probably wear the charm to get her now. But I think... I Seeing the duo, at, at the very least, Aphrodite's probably better than Artemis for this run. So it's not... I think I want Zeus, Aphrodite. But we'll see. It probably wouldn't... Depending, depending on what gets applied to, it might not hurt to have Dionysus. It's just his uh, duo isn't very helpful because it requires having his attack. I guess we'll get the hammer. Feeling all right? <laughs> nope. Wall hit. See that he just. Your bull rush charges faster after your special hits. Your next two attack do eighty percent more damage. Well, I do do use that a lot. After blocking a foe, do more damage. That's really good. These are all pretty good, but this one hasn't been picked yet. So I might as well get that. Should work. If it's not a bad thing, I might as well grab it. Another nectar. My cup overfloweth. As the kids say. <laughs> Them hip children with their... I don't know, Shakespeare... <laughs> Maybe. I'm not even sure. Get off of me. Get off of me. Stop it. My special is a little underwhelming right now because it doesn't even have an effect yet. But one day. Get off of me. Ah. 
Always the skull one, because it's worth more. It's a meta progression thing. It's not a choice about what how what will make this run more uh, successful, so I might as well just pick whichever one's worth more for the overall progression. No! Nope. Wrong button. You can specifically call it back in situations like this. Where it's uh where the enemies are between you and the projectile. Out. Not knocking out of the park right now. Two more keys for the collection. I'm sad that I passed on Aphrodite, Aphrodite, Aphrodite. Keep saying the name until it gets cemented in your mind. Although, I don't know if that'll work. I've already... It's one of those fucking names that I've already had a whole lifetime to have repeating in my mind here and there. And it's, uh... Apparently not sticking already, so... <laughs> it's not like I just encountered it in this game. Dionysus I just encountered in this game. I don't... I have no idea who, she, who Dionysus is. I mean, I know now. But, like, that's not a name that you remember. Or at least I didn't. My chaos burn switched to a new effect. Thank God. Alright, back to pressing the fun button again. <laughs> Immediately having to not use your epic boon. Annoying. But this whole part of the game is so inconsequential. Do I want Poseidon? I mean, going to a shop wouldn't be that good for me right now. At best, I get to buy a boon, but I already have the opportunity to buy boons. Uh, we don't need to heal yet. Poseidon's not bad. He's good for the shield. He's just not his duo. His duo is just not good. But there's more to it than that. I can I can still get rupture, which would be nice. Come on, Doomstone. <laughs> If he's just gonna stand in it, and that's great. Oh no, it bounces back. It bounces back when it hits a wall, apparently. I knocked him out of the, the effect, which is also not great for me. take care of some of you because you're pissing me off. Yeah, I guess it bounces around. It's ending up in places besides where the enemy is. It's a very different playstyle. The downside of Poseidon might be that I'm underutilizing my charge while I'm playing with my new toys. Mighty Poseidon, greatest of my uncles, arguably. Please accept this gift. Oh, dangerous. For all the times I'm offered gifts or sacrifices, little nephew, I still always very much appreciate it. I mean, look, I'm grinning ear to ear. How many of my brethren did he drown during my mortal days? He comes across as affable, yet I've not forgiven him. The dangerous game you're playing there, Zagreus. Nephew, your cruel father, Hades. He's my elder brother. You know that. Not exactly the expressive type, but never was. We seldomly saw eye to eye on things. Your attack deals more damage and knocks foes away. Your dash damages foes in an area and knocks them away. And then the treasure loot pile, which is always tempting. Hmm. Does it is it the beginning or the end of my dash, or is it throughout my dash? Hmm. Ah. <sighs> 
What do I want on my special? Do I want my special to be Aphrodite or do I want it to be Zeus? Having a continually pulsing chain lightning ball would be pretty freaking crazy. But then what do I want to do with my Aphrodite? Do I want Aphrodite to be my attack? Is that what I'm hoping for? Will I even have the chance to get Aphrodite again? Is it, is it a moot point at this point? Should I just commit to having a strong main attack that, ha that inflicts knockback? Which I guess it already does, but now, now more so. Big blue. Stop throwing mines around. This is rude. Oh god, oh god. Chain reaction. Oh boy, oh boy. Get out! Spikes! Which way? Hmm. A quick heal might not hurt, where are we? We're getting closer. My health is lower than I want it to be, admittedly. I guess I'm not getting any darkness rewards. I think I still have darkness thirst. Ah! Goddamn hit scan! Danger to some extent here is just me losing track of what's going on because I'm creating so much visual chaos everywhere. Come forth, fishes. Got a bite. Uh, oh, I got it. I was so caught off guard by it happening instantly that I felt like I missed it completely. I didn't think I got it because I felt it felt like like an eternity passed before I pressed A. And yet. Thanatos? Thanatos! Remember, not a word of this to anyone. Let's go. Ta 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 also do that. Nope. Stole your kill. Stole your kill. Ow. Ow. Oh, your kill. Mine. We gotta knock them out of the area and then he can't get the kills. Trap kill. Chamber secured. Ow. More damage than I'd want to take. Hey. I got two rewards though. What really? Come on, what is this, Zagreus? You think handing this to me makes up for everything you've put us through? It's just something I found out there that I thought you might like, Than. Don't think anything of it. Although it is my master who presides over the underworld, Thanatos is death itself, brother of sleep, an instrument for sending mortals to the underworld, more peacefully than violent, mind you, as I did not encounter him myself when came my time. 
by Ares's and Apollo's design. I told you I don't need your help here, Thanatos. It wasn't being offered. It just happened to be in the area is all. Carry on, Zagreus. They've mastered the art of constantly being around each other while constantly telling each other that to fuck off. Ah, uh, double boon is pretty fucking good, although I would prefer to have something new. I only have two boons basically so far, and these are the two the two of them again. I am behind by one ever since I missed Aphrodite though. Um I don't know which one might be worse. I'll just grab hers. Oh, that's his. Whoops. Oh, well. Idle dash again. There you go. Knock away adds rupture. Not a very good rupture, though. Mm. Higher 250% increased slam damage is really good. That's a huge bonus, so just the fact that it won't work on bosses is frustrating because you can't knock them back. It'll be a comfy room clearer, though, and I don't have it yet. If I if I don't pick it based on a careless choice you've made there, Zagreus. As you grow long in years, perhaps you shall learn better judgment as to whom to trust and whom to never, ever disrespect. Hello. If I don't pick it based on it not being viable for good for bosses, then I'll just literally never pick it <laughs> at some point. You want to pick everything. Ah, what's hitting me? I'm being lost in the chaos a bit, maybe. Ah. Use my shield more. Ah, spikes. I'm not doing great. Treat me suitably. Whenever you cast, damage flows around you and inflict chill. Ooh, all healing is stronger for the entire run. Ooh. But this is really strong too. And it's an epic. Ah. <sighs> So every time I cast her effect, too, I get an eye, uh, a chill around me. One stack of chill's not amazing. It's good if I'm trying to get the duo effect, but I'm not actually, I don't have that equipped right now. So it's just 60 damage. That's the effect it has. That's, which isn't incredible. I'm not necessarily casting near people in the first place because I'm shooting them. This is just really good for making the run do well. Also, my health's not good. Oh, well, that would have fixed it anyway. 30% <laughs> increased healing for the whole run is hard to complain about. About to go into the boss fight. Stop him, riches, now. I better go fast if I'm going to make this worth it. Wall slam. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, why do I bother? Mine now. Alright. That's disgustingly powerful. The wall slam. If only you could hurt bosses with it. These both feel like casts. Intuitively, so it's hard. I, I, I have trouble remembering which buttons which sometimes. Uh, Ares can inflict doom. His duo boon is bad because it requires hit to you having as cast, so it's not going to happen with Demeter. Doom is. 
Uh, the issue is Doom doesn't stack. Eventually, deep down his tree, one of his things stacks, but it's not necessarily... I don't know if that stacking one makes all of his Doom effects stack or just that specific effect. No, Ares. Your Doom effects deal more damage when applied multiple times. Oh, so that makes them all of them apply multiple times, right? 10 bonus damage per stack. Does that mean getting a second stack just increases its damage by 10? Or does it increase its damage by two, times 2 plus 10? Because a stack would imply it gets a whole stack, right? Not just plus 10 damage. That's not what stacking usually means. They try to get each description done in, like, one line of text, and that doesn't always make it clear as, as it could be. More bonus doom damage. More damage per consecutive hit of your blade rifts. Blade rifts themselves being basically what my current special is. Here's his... Zeus effect. Revenge effects sometimes occur without taking any damage. You just auto you just auto revenge every three seconds. That's pretty funny. Which I think both I think Zeus and Ares might both have revenge effects, don't they? Yeah, I'm not going to get that effect. If I start summoning a bunch of blade rifts everywhere with something, like, that could be a pretty strong effect. Just to add to the fact that I already add my own kind of blade rift and Demeter's crystals. I can just have continuous effects on the screen everywhere. I just don't know if his doom is his doom effects going to be very strong. So his cast it does a blade rift, but I already have that filled. Your dash creates a blade rift where you started. Like, I could start spamming blade rifts everywhere while I'm da dashing around, I guess. How good is this blade rift tree? 20% larger. It lasts 0.2 seconds longer, so they're really brief, but they pull people in. That's some crowd controlling that's interesting. Plus two damage per consecutive hit, but how long do they stick around? Blade Rifts don't actually tell you how long they stay around. Oh, 1.2 seconds. So not very long. Oh, that's for my call. Yeah, this Blade Rift has no mention of how long it lasts. But they're very different. Like, I think the cast lasts way longer than the dash, which barely exists. I don't know, I think Ares is my least favorite god. There's, like, nothing appealing about this entire tree, and I just don't like basically any of these effects. Hard to say no to just doing more damage, obviously. Hmm. Should come in useful. <sighs> Do I just try it anyway? He'd have to be either my... I mean, you, he does have a good... Being, turning into a blade rift for a while is kind of fun for a call, although 1.2 seconds is a really short time. Eh. Hold out for Aphrodite and Zeus, I guess. Yeah, I already have two of my slots. Uh oh. There and he's ready. My sisters and I, we've had a chance to talk and we have come to an agreement, Sagrius. As you can see, 
Oh god, it's time for me to earn that fucking upgrade. Here's the only effect of my heat up, is this room. It <laughs> seems like it's kind of severe. Megara, tiss, you ready? Why do you all have the same wing remaining? Were you born with one wing? How's this work? Murderer. Three against one. Doesn't seem all that sporting now, does it? We're each well past the need for any sport. We'll kill you, whatever it takes. Your knees, no. Fuck, do they at least have less health? Oh, is it still just her, though? On health? Ah! Okay, they're just called- they're- they're boons, basically. That's not so bad. In fact, this is really easy. Yeah. Hmm, one of them is creating blade rifts. Okay, that's hard to see through. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Okay. So that remained easy, thankfully. I, th I thought they were all going to be actually on the field attacking me at the same time. It's just like fighting uh, an Elysium with uh, Asterius and Theseus. Where the, when uh, Theseus summons a, a god's boons for the rest of the fight. So those two function as boons. I think one of them was a carpet bombing and the other one was like a blade rift. There are definitely weapons where that'd be more of a threat, but that particular weapon uh, was not much of a threat. It, my shield already nullifies a lot of threats. Pretty much nullifies that entire fight, difficulty-wise. It seems the Fury failed to do her job. Which one? Let's get. I'm still not entirely sure how good Aphrodite will be. Let's get Zeus. I do. I, I want. I want. I do want my cast. Not my cast. My special. I want my special to spew lightning everywhere. Cause I thought. I think that'd be pretty fucking funny if every pulse did a chain lightning. Hopefully he does that effect. And I'm not imagining that. I didn't check very closely. Mm, nothing that increases my rarity of my next pickup. Which is the most appealing thing to get right now. Well, if I get if I find Eurydice, I have a very concise build right now, so I can pretty confidently say what'll be upgraded. Getting warmer. Hermes. I'll be leaving shortly. Something that's interesting is that I, one of the things I struggle with with Zeus or Hades, you know the name of the game. <laughs> one of the one, one of my struggles with Hades is the fact that it's it can be hard to hit him without getting hit back. But like when I'm a coward, I can avoid damage pretty well. And this is a coward build. <laughs> this is useful coward abilities. If, I, if I'm if I'm going to hide behind the rock and avoid all of his attacks, I can hit him pretty well with my my cast and my special right now. Lord Hermes, sir, you fast for nothing in return, and so please take this humble offering, because it's nothing, really. One of the 
That's awful kind there, Coz. No need to thank me, though. Not so profusely, anyhow. Sorry, boss, my pocket pressing matters to attend to, but I'm here relaying you that message and relaying this. Old cast of fire and rapid succession if you just want to quickly triple laser, I guess. Your attack is faster. Does it affect your charge? Because that's the main thing. Ten money every room? Uh, we're pretty early. That's a lot of... That's, that's hundreds of obels. That's oodles of oobles. <laughs> gems in darkness. Neither of them are skull. I don't need healing right now. I might as well grab the gems, I guess, because I'm close to a milestone. I just picked gems over darkness in this playthrough. That's like never happened. Aren't you? A, you're a mini boss, aren't you? I actually don't remember. No, there's only like chamber two. The mini bosses come later usually. Dodge all of them. Could do with more damage overall. Hmm. Shop might be a chance for a new boon. I already picked... I already picked Zeus, though, so he'll show up on his own. On. Otherwise, it could be a, introducing me to, like, a god I don't want, so it could be a whole total bust. Side hustle. Which side is your back? How do I backstab you? I guess it's the back of his head. But the first hits I was doing counted as a backstab, even though they shouldn't ha- Ah, shit. This is the time to remember I have a shield when a bunch of projectiles are flying at me. Hmm, bit of darkness. Not bad, considering <clears throat> I get 10 gold per room. Ooh, upgraded rarity on my Zeus boon. Aphrodite and Zeus. Both increased rarity. Of course, Aphrodite would show up again here to taunt me. Like, but but Zeus. This would mean I could guarantee getting an Aphrodite, then getting a Zeus. But I don't know if I want to spend my upgraded rarity on Aphrodite because even though I kind of gestured vaguely at Aphrodite, I actually don't know how well it's going to fit my build. Especially if I'm going to put the stacking part of my build on the Zeus part. I've decided to put the the the. Uh, make my special Zeus, so I don't know what- actually, I'm not entirely sure where Aphrodite's gonna go. <clears throat> when I was thinking about my build, I wasn't specifically thinking, like, move-specific necessarily. Just kind of thinking what stuff might mix well with my new toy. But only, like, one or two things can actually stack on the actual attack. It's kind of the issue, isn't it? Wall slam! Wall slam! Not getting wall slammed hard enough. There you go. Ah! Not now. God, the wall slam damage. They're immune to wall slam when they have armor, huh? The knockback. Once they don't, they just all die. Zeus. I thank you, my lord, Uncle Zeus, for your benevolence and your thunderous might. You honor me, young man, as well you should, for I am ruler of Olympus, am I not? Such courtesies are shown me constantly, yet I appreciate them all. I finally ran out of 
ran out of those. I had so many. Once he overthrew the Titans, his own ancestors, to wrest control of all the heavens and earth. He yet presides as ruler over all. Need to get seven more boons from him. So you are summoned to Hades by that Nyx, the night goddess, is that correct, nephew? Well, I suppose she's closest to a queen as your lord fathers like to find down there. I tried to match him up with some more wholesome types, but no, and here we are. You don't find it more troubling that he's not supposed to have a son? Your special causes lightning bolts to strike nearby foes. That's the one. Zeus's call wouldn't be bad either. Dash causes lightning bolts to strike nearby foes. Might add that just to get more lightning bolts, but later. So it's not a chain lightning, it's just lightning bolts strike nearby. I guess I'll have to accept that. I don't know. Hopefully it's good. Should, be, should at least become gold good once I have jolted. <laughs> that just repeated pulsing of lightning out. Definitely a playstyle change. It's a little weird playing this way. Some of the simplicity of my winning build was was just how little I had to press anything besides holding my attack over and over again. But I just fell into the rhythm of using the special version of my attack. Again and again. That's some damage. Like, that really was all I was doing. I was just this. And even following into the rhythm, because I was because I was spamming it so much, I just fall into the rhythm of always letting go right at the timing of the super attack, because I had the, the hammer version. And I just didn't have to press anything else. I didn't really have to throw his shield around, because the bounce effect wasn't useful to me that much. And it got me through it hard. <laughs> it really worked. What lurks in the river Phlegathon? By this. Mmm. Flame eater. <laughs> you trying to startle me? Look at oh, that's a nightmare abyss creature. I guess it's just a, just an octopus. Yeah. Well, some of the underworld's river dwelling creatures are can probably be traced to surface-swimming counterparts. The Flame Eater appears to be descended from the monstrosities born of the underworld itself. That might be a rare one. It's a perfect catch. I don't remember if it always says perfect catch or not. But they tried to startle me twice in a row. They've uh, been caught on the first throw. Naughty. Break random pots, thingy. For I know not. How much loot there may or not be, may or may not be around here. Uh, that one's got a skull, so bonus. Uh, keys are always pretty good, though. Yeah, but one key. I don't know. Oh, oh, I think I just always want to go for the skull if it's between two progression items, because it's just more long-term reward. Don't get in my way. Just as it chases me, hitting everything with lightning. <laughs> Come and get it. Oops, did it kill you? Not as well as I would want to. Stop it. Come here. Come here. There you go. Gemstones. Yet more gemstones at great personal risk to myself. <laughs> it's gonna be worth nothing, isn't it? Oh my god. Why? No, 
yourself. That was that Thank fight you, ended immediately. For the house. Oh my goodness, it, that ended so quickly. I thought there would be more waves. Like it was like the, I was just like not accepting it. Like it can't be over that fast. Hmm. Yeah, it's time for the boss fight. Do I want to go to the shop? Get another boon. I'm boon light at the moment. I've got enough of them that it's a decent chance they'll give me one of the ones I already have, which is good, because I want to go deeper down those trees. As tempting as it is to keep sta saving the money because of my multiplier. Ten per room's pretty good. Dionysus. Well, you really proved me wrong, didn't you? So I have Zeus, Poseidon... Yeah, Dionysus is just as good as Aphrodite. The only thing I lose out on is the idea of having that really specific effect where I do this. And then the lasers shoot me so I can, like, guide them around a bit. And they do 30% bonus damage, which is also pretty noteworthy. But maybe let's not... Like, it's, we're two worlds deep. Let's get, maybe give up on Aphrodite at this point. Dionysus also has stacking effects I can put down. By getting his call, for example, is pretty good. Spend it all in one place, mate. Hangover dash isn't bad. Bonus damage per fountain's not bad. I'll have... I'll have three fountains. Also, it's always nice to get one of these. Getting nectar is nice. Progression reasons. I don't love dash effects in this game, if I'm being honest. Probably because it's hard to appreciate how much work they're even doing. I can't really tell. Not what I'm paying attention to when I'm dashing is whether or not my dash did damage. <clears throat> I'm definitely leaning towards like, yeah, there's just... Hmm. Get a full heal from each fountain and 3% bonus damage. That'll be that'll be at least 9% bonus damage. I'll get one after this boss fight and the next two worlds. There's a fountain at the end of the next three, these three worlds. I already missed the first one, so that's 9% minimum. If I encounter a random fountain, which often happens once per playthrough and hasn't happened yet, then I'll be 12% bonus damage on my whole character. <clears throat> that's one of the only ways I can give bonus damage to my already purple effects. <coughs> <I've>, I... <clears throat> no, I never found Eurydice. It never gave me a plot icon. So, if I met Eurydice, I could have made my attack stronger. We've already met, we've already missed that chance. So this is my last chance to upgrade, essentially. Because I can't increase the rarity of my my cast or my special, which my my current primary attacks. So this will increase their damage by 10% by the end of the run. It's like the best I can do, I think. Boosted a boon. That's a boost to... The thunder attack, that's pretty good. And, ooh, 75 for 24 though. Maybe not that deep. I'm already at 150. I'm not gonna spend money on that resource. Gotta keep an eye out for any money. Diamond! All right, let's not fuck this up. My health's not great. But my casting should make it easier to kill this fight. You come to fulfill my father's wishes. Look at that damage. There. Oh, that's all of them. Right? That destroyed him. I guess I should have focused my casting on a different enemy. Probably the... 
The worst part of this weapon is probably the slow speed at which it comes back to you. <clears throat> but it's also good. Oh my god, look how fast he melted. If you can make it land directly on the enemy, then you just destroy them. But if you misplace it in some way, then the, the return time is brutally slow. Oh god. Hmm. Those little those little head movements make it hard to keep them in the damage zone the way you'd want them to. Look how fast they melt when you when you line it up right. It would hit the wall, so it bounced back through him like a Moira ball. Yay! There we go. That should be pretty well placed, right? Oh yeah, it's just in him. I just win. Oh my god. Yeah, the main head's the easiest one to aim at, I think. I took like 20 damage, I think. That's pretty good. Beautiful. Another diamond for ass from Asphodel. Then boom. 3% bonus damage. Strong drinking. A little worrying. Let's see. I picked Demeter. I picked Zeus. And I already have Dionysus. And... Poseidon. I don't love Poseidon's chart. It's, it's really fun to use. But it's, it sucks how you can end up running into them and take more damage, obviously. But I could still I could still stack my rupture effects up, or I can go for Dionysus to get his call and increase the rarity of it. Hopefully, at this point, I think my build's good enough that I don't have to worry that much about the Elysium boss either. So I think I'm gonna like normally I pick the uh, normally I'm picking the spiked collar right now because I'm worried about getting through this level. But I think I'm gonna be fine, so I'm gonna save the spiked collar for World Four. I normally just keep it for worlds 3 and 4, because that's when I'm worried. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's grab Dionysus to hope that I get his call. Now that I've got Zeus. Ooh. 25 max health. What does a centaur heart cost? 15. It's normally 125, isn't it? I think it's 125 normally, so that's like a discount. I guess it's a discount because you don't get the healing. All right. Uh, wait, did I check you already? Yes. Can you tell I took a short break? <laughs> One more floor. Ping. Would you like free money? Hmm. So I grabbed Dionysus, so I'll get him regardless, but a hammer is a hell of a thing to pass up on. What are you gonna do? Something cool? <clears throat> Maybe something that complements my existing weird build. Oh yeah, there's a really significant health increase around here. That wall bash is suddenly a lot less powerful. 
but not weak. But it was just one-shotting everyone in all of World 1. But everyone there is just designed to die. Right, my casts don't come back to me. I have to go tr seek them out. I think them flying back to me is like an upgrade. But I get used to it existing sometimes. Your attack hits twice but does not knock foes away. Does it undo Poseidon's effect though, which knocks people's people away? Hmm. Or for that matter, does the attacking twice not land because Poseidon knocks them away? Hmm. I don't even use my dash strike. Hmm, I'll try it. We'll see how it works. Yeah, there's still... I think it just will hit twice, and it might even apply Poseidon's attack twice, which might apply Rupture twice, because I think Rupture's one of the ones that stacks, right? Maybe. I think it'll still do knockback, because uh, Poseidon's effect does knockback. Just the attack doesn't now. Uh, keep pumping up that health. I value that bigly. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ow, that hit me, didn't it? Yep. <laughs> Just lure them into the effect. It'll deal with them for, for me. His bow is just floating here. Did I kill- did he spawn? And then I killed him before he could even grab his bow, so there's just a bow flying there forever? Is that a thing that happens? Oh, there's some money. Gotta keep an eye out for those. A little early for a shop. Meanwhile, this is big darkness. Chonk darkness. Maximal darkness. In a liminal space. A word I definitely remember the meaning of, and them not just spewing. The lasers don't mix super well with the knockback. But thankfully the knockback won't apply to bosses, which is the number one time that these kinds of hairs get split. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I can knock people into... My, uh, lightning effect. What now? Maybe it doesn't knock people back now. Maybe it really did nullify it. Shit. That could be bad. Might want to use that, uh, Dionysus hammer. Nah. Not Dionysus. Might, might want to use that hammer later to replace it then with two other effects. There's Dionysus. The hammer of... God, I'm blinking on names completely. Like, I'm not even, like, sort of remembering them, so I can't even, like, trace it back to the real name. I just, I draw a complete blank and it's useless. It's like, oh, cool, great. Thanks. Yeah, let's go for an effect. So it's an increased rarity from... Oh. You are more skilled than I expected, short one. A rematch is most certainly in order. Sweet. 
You're going to force a rematch each time I manage to defeat you, aren't you? Well, yeah, forever. We and our victories are all impermanent here in Elysium. We live, such as it is, for moments such as these. We don't live. His mobility is a little bit of a problem for staying in my blade rift. The way I want him to. Yeah, okay, hit a wall. Ah, I didn't have my crystals. I, I couldn't see them. Ow. Ah, you wouldn't do it. Back into my rift. Chase me around him. Yes, blade rift. Oh, that's the best part. Oh, it chases me. That's how I can get it to keep hitting him. Ow, the fucking shockwaves. Stand down. I concede. They did a good job of making these effects really change the weapon in these in some of these cases. So, Zag, you met my dad by now, your Uncle Zeus. He's cool and loves the feasting, just be sure to keep him in your thoughts, okay? I briefly thought I was getting some kind of duo. Dash causes hangover. May not be the worst. Just to add it to the list of things happening. Three is so shit, though. And how well is Dash? It does say several times. So I guess there's at least that. Yeah, I want, the, I want his call, though. Yeah. Cheers to that. I probably need to have one of his other effects anyway to get his call. Usually you need... Something. Maybe. Hey, my one fan is here again. Now there's another distracting effect. Like, ha ha ha. <laughs> now there's the blue. Add the add the uh, the purple pulsing on top of everything else that's happening. It's gonna get really chaotic. It's gonna get hard to to tell where my enemies' attacks are at some point. Maybe already. Kind of already was that before or that. Oops. Melt for me. Come on, then. Almost there. Where's my? Bl I kept pressing trigger, and nothing was happening. Must have been doing something wrong. I just took a bunch of damage. Maybe I pressed it so rapidly that it was getting recalled. Way too much damage taken. Good enough. Hundred gold. Yeah, their shields are there. Maybe their weapons always floated around and I just didn't really notice. Oh, another dual boon room. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. I'm not doing so great. God, I'm really not doing great. Who's favor to choose? Hmm. You do damage over time, so I don't really want that happening to me because I don't have much health. Hey, now that is something, yeah. 
Oh, low level Diana. Ooh. Uh, that amounts to like a 6% damage reduction overall compared to the rest of your health bar and so on. Pulsing hangover between different people that are hangovered could definitely make my dodge chain more. Hmm. I wanted his call, but I just wanted it to not be shitty rarity. Eh, it's what I was. It was my plan, though. Let's get it. It's it's too late to pass on it in this run. Do you believe I give my blessings liberally, Zagreus? Well, then I have news for you. I'm sure scorning you a lot this playthrough. I'm sure, this will work out great for me. Save me, your boon, from yourself. You can't block all of them, damn it. Oh god, don't go into it! What an unnecessary problem to give myself. Ah! No! Not so fast. I just lost a death defiance against random, like, normal enemies. I'm just I just took too much damage this world while not uh, getting any healing along the way. Ow. Ah, shit. Oh, get out of the vortex. Shit. No! Vortex! God damn it. It's hard for me to register that as an enemy thing, specifically. Yeah. As expected, I'm getting readability problems where the screen's covered in so much shit that I'm creating that I, I don't even register right away that something's an attack that's an enemy attack. There isn't, like, a coherent color coding to everything, because everything's the color of, like, who's doing it. But I'm creating, like, five colors because my my who does it is Boons of Gods. Shit. The harsh of winter's gone for now, young Zagreus, and so take heart. But also, you take heed. Winter, that's when it's cold or something, right? Completely chill whenever I take damage, so 10 stacks, so 40% slow. <clears throat> Deal more damage and take less damage whenever I don't have any of my things, which is clearly built around the fact that she puts her turrets down, and that's like your goal. Hmm. This is this has synergy. But this is always tempting. Hmm. Ice cold. I'm a little shaken by having lost a, a survival thing. Yeah. Help me out here. Hmm. Dodge chance, maybe? Oh my god. <laughs> Watching them all charge in like that made me really nervous for a second there. Oh no, I need, I need to use my shield more. Because that's how I avoid a lot of damage. But I'm so I'm so focused on my Symmetra nonsense. Nope, don't get hit by the traps in the environment. Unnecessarily. What? Didn't finish him off. Why'd it fly back at me? <laughs> More dashes. Sturdy. Dodge. I do always like this one. 33% dodge after using my call. That's some survivability during boss fights. 
Is this healing, maybe? Oh. Uh, it's less likely to be a good reward at this point, because I'm there's a decent chance that it'll hurt me in Elysium and also not die fast enough to give me the full reward. Hmm. I guess I should see if I can stack more hangover effects. <laughs> it's just getting hit by the thing chasing me. Wall slam. Oh, it's, that's a hell of an auto aim. I was pressing left, like up left, and it went down left. I didn't even see that guy. I guess the other guy was considered out of range, so it really wanted to correct me. Olympus, I accept this message. Hmm. Be slowed by hangover effects. Or some per room healing. Hmm. Not the worst plan. Shop. It's time for the big fight. Okay, so shop would give me some boons. Or go for the heart. Healing or boons would be nice. Hmm. Maybe both even? The worst thing they can do is hit me with a bunch of meta progression items. There's one. No healing. The purple would give me health. It is 30. Hmm. I'll pay for that. Your cast fires longer and inflicts chill is pretty good. <clears throat> whenever you attack damage, completely chill. Whenever you cast, damage goes around you. <clears throat> yeah, my cast doing more would be good. Thunder Flourish plus one. Again? Okay. My, my whole build's kind of built around that and the crystals, so like this one being stronger again doesn't hurt. I still have a lot of money left over too. I didn't burn through that much of it. But not much not much in the way of healing. I'm, there's a chance to lose another Death Defy here. I'm not happy about it. Let's see how in control I can stay. The monster has returned in a vainglorious attempt to wrest the title champion from me. I couldn't care less about your title, though shouldn't you share it with a Minotaur? He's more than half the reason you've been in any trouble. You'll not drive a wedge between us, fiend. Asterius and I share a fraternal bond forged from the strongest bronze, nay, adamant. You have caused us both offense, so die. Didn't I have your title because I keep beating you? Nah. <laughs> Ow. Is he not taking damage? Oh, he's chilled. That's what that color means. Ow. Ow. Oh shit, I did so much damage to him on accident. Dude, I'm melting them right now. They're standing in it! You idiot! They just fucking stand in it. I'm gonna kill the wrong one of them first on accident. 
I did! King, no. Oh. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed the show out in the stands. Mm. I'm really curious. This might be a tank. This might be a real tank buster build. It struggles more with random enemies, especially in Elysium. It actually will probably be easier in World 4, although World 4 is usually easier. Uh, it's Elysium with its shield enemies and other problems. But, like, yeah, the, the way the boss AI works, they often just stand and stuff. So, like, I can put, like, a Dionysus puddle on them, and I can throw my turrets down, which is admittedly the kind of maybe the least effective part of it, although slowing helps. Slowing them with the turrets and Dionysus effects just makes them slower and slower and slower, which also makes them easier to keep in a spot. And then just pummels them with lightning. I, I like, was up here and then left because I was hiding, and they were just both standing in my lightning vortex, just taking damage. And I'd already hit them with... I hit them with a Dionysus attack, then looped back around, and before the puddle was even gone, I had another charge already charged up to use again. And it was just like, I... Ah. I looked up and just saw their health gone. What a find. What a nightmare. There we go. Strong drink again. Where is strong drink? It'd be like 9% damage? Am I just scrolling too fast and missing it over and over again? Two. There it is. Oh, 6%. I'll get the last percentage. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I think the big, gross, goopy heal I get when I find the meat is that. Alright, so let's get my health up. This just kind of seems like a no-brainer a lot of the time. A nice big chunk of health increase to get me through Zeus. Hades. I wish I get plus one cast, but it's, it's going to run out before the boss fight. Otherwise, I'd totally go for this. Something I don't want? For coin. Crystal beam. Yeah, you want to get rid of one of the main parts of your build. Yeah, these are horrible options to get rid of. I'm almost out of here. Look how ferocious and evil yeah. Cerberus looks in that those sculptures. That looks like the Minotaur's Labyrinth, funnily enough. But it has nothing to do with the world where you fight the Minotaur. Some money there. Some money there. It's 30 in that room alone, at least. Then another 10 from Hermes. There's so much money! A thousand for the diamond. There's another Zeus upgrade. I guess the question is whether I think the Zeus upgrade would be better, or this will be up better. Get rid of my shitty knockback removal effect and get maybe two other strong effects. Zeus is probably the best thing that could happen to me though, right? Because I already have a powerful... I already have a powerful lightning effect. If I can add Jolted to that, which I don't even have yet, then, that, then it's a nightmare. Why not? Ooh. When you knock foes away, they're struck by lightning. But I'm not using knockback that much right now, so this isn't as good as it looks. It would be for a different build. Your lightning bolt effects deal damage in a larger area, so that means that they'll hit nearby things, which is very good. But jolted is just too important. Like I need to, I need to add jolted. That makes it really good. And we'll see how much money I can get from this world. Which tunnel? Hmm. What Poseidon do I have? Increased barrier damage, which is useless once I get to the boss fight. And that's like it? So I just have Tempest Strike. So I could add Rupture to the knockback, 
if I can get if the knockback even works anymore that's the problem I think my charge still works for the knockback at least so I should be able, I should still be able to add rupture the big health upgrade I think too I think I'll do this then this and then if I can afford it this Hopefully the upgraded Poseidon's worth it. You guys can't even get over here. Ha 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 ha. Melt for me. Ow, dick. How'd you get over here? You just spawn? Stop it. Oh uh, shit. Uh, where is it? Wait, the uh, fuck. I thought the shot. I just saw it. Stop it. Fuck. It was all glowy around here, so I thought that was the heal. But no, it's she's over here. Spotting the Mandrake is so high priority. I'm losing health that I need for the boss fight. Ugh! Chaotic little encounters. I think there's a beam coming at me. Just gonna hide back here for a second. <laughs> no need to take risks today. These tiny rooms have a lot of pots. They seem to give me a lot of money. Another one of those especially gigantic vermin. Yeah. Oh shit, there's no walls here. Shit. Ah, oh, poison. Yeah, that was a wall bash. So it does work. Just not very good. But it works on some level. Ooh, much faster charge gauge. Wall, wall effects are not good for the boss. And this is a little... Eh. Haven't had this one before, so there's that. And I'll get more Dionysus effects. I didn't get Rupture, though. So my plan didn't work. Oh, well. Day we live with our mistakes. Even returning to this room gives me 10 gold each time. I'll have some money. Uh, what's left on Demeter? Is it worth it over getting a what I think might be 50 health? Because it's a skull health? Your boons become common, then gain rarity every three encounters. What a fucking strong effect if you can get it early in the playthrough. And it has no requirements, so you can get it first, but you might just never get it. I guess that's the feast or famine element of her lore, is that kind of thing. If you get that at the beginning of the playthrough, it's really strong. It'll quickly become like, every all of your boons will be heroic, right? Like, oh, it's only one random boon, ooh. So you want a high rarity version, right? Because it affects more boons after that point. But if you have too many boons, they actually won't get back up in time. So I, I, I uh, charitably misinterpreted it at first. God, that's a huge instant heal. I think I already have Ravenous Will. 
I wish it would tell me which ones I currently have. I don't think it does. It, it tells me in the offering requirements part, but not which ones I have here. I have to have them memorized. There's a lot at this point. I have Chill and Ravenous Will, don't I? They're both really strong. Ooh, do a blast every time Chill maxes out. That, so that makes the beam blast them. That's pretty good. The shatter effect. Yeah, I never went the Artemis path. Hmm. I can't get jolted. It looks like I have to have... Huh. It seems that they require you to have one of Demeter's effects on one of your main attacks. But for casting, it has to be the other cast, I think. I think that's the name of her other cast, not the one I'd picked. Oh, no, it's just not cast. You have to have Demeter's attack, special, dash, or call, but I have her cast, so it doesn't count. For, that one doesn't qualify for some reason. Healing over time when I don't have Death Defiance would be nice, but Artemis is not on the table. I never did pick her. So I think the best thing I could get from her is that explosion. But I won't get that, 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 or that. So in order to get this, I need to get Snowburst. Whenever you cast damage rounds, you inflict... Ah, yeah. So it's... it's un This is unlikely to work out. Because basically I have to also completely chill a foe. That means whenever I take, that, if I had that, then whenever I took damage, they take 80 damage from the explosion that happens automatically. But yeah, uh, I had, I'd have to go in there right now, hope she gives me snow burst, then buy it from the store and hope that gives me arctic blast. And those are both RNG. That's, that's, that's too many consecutive dice rolls for what is seemingly like my only option I care about that's left. So now it's down to, like, Bullheart. These are all decent options, so... A chunk of money, although it's no skull, so it's only 100 money. It would only take me to... I'd only hit, like, 400, because over the course of the chamber, I would get, like, at least the 30 or so. Just from breaking stuff. With that, I could afford two palms. Or a heart. With palms, I can increase the power of the turrets. At this point, they're probably not going to be very strong for increasing the power of Jolted. Well, actually, Jolted would be good, but uh, if I could if, if I could power up a different part of Zeus's boons, they could still be strong. But if it powers up Zeus's the Zeus effect on my special, it would be diminishing returns at this point, probably. This could replace my shitty effect that I don't like that much with with two better effects, but I don't know what they are. If nothing else, it might just be meta progression. I can just get more of the checklist done, I guess. But that's it. Uh, it might not be good otherwise. But I'll be able to afford this regardless. So I might abandon Demeter at this point. Go in. Hmm. The thing about it is this is a super palm, so if I go in for the palm, I can come back here and buy the other palm with the money I'll get from pots, and then I'll have three palm effects. One there and two down there, because that's a double price palm, so that should be a plus two. But you don't know what the RNG is of where it'll get put you. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this is a double value mini Minotaur heart, so I'm gonna go for this one. Kill him. I definitely wish I had the effect that made my, uh... No thanks. That had made my cast come back to me when it was expired. Because it expires. Who dies first? The concern here is always that I don't know if there's going to be two or three. I've never had four, I don't think. 
But it's always after two or three runs you get the heal. And that heal is probably more valuable than anything you're gonna get from the next room. So you pretty much, at that point, I pretty much wanna stop. If you're all just gonna stand in it and make this room instantly end, then I'll take it. Exactly what I need. Ooh, that's a wrinkle in the plan, because that's more valuable than like anything I could get. Getting my death defiance back. Ooh, plus one for my cast for six encounters. Uh, if we do Zeus Hades next, then this, this is one more turret, which is great. Should be useful. If it doesn't make it to the boss fight, I just wasted it. So, uh, I don't know. God, I hope it lasts. I'll be so sad. Die. <laughs> As I just hide. Get ready for that, because I'm going to throw... Th oh, I, I only cast three of them because I'm used to it. Now I'm banking on, like, please end with this one. Where is it? Where is it? God damn it, stop it. There we go, finally. Fuck. Yeah, it is a 50. That is way more damage than I would have wanted to taken. To have taken. Goddamn poison, and it didn't make it. Alright, so I probably just wasted 50 gold. Ah, I need to check the rooms better for gold, too. I might have thrown some of that away. I just don't know how good that's gonna be. Should I go for the palm next? Maybe. Let's try the. Let's see how good this turns to be. Time to mess with my weapon. Wait. Oh God! You don't even pick it from a menu. Which one did I lose? Bonus damage against armor. Oh, power rush. So that's the that's the one. Yeah, there it is. There's that, at least. Which one did I lose? Your special does more damage, so I- wait. That's chaos, isn't it? Ah, uh, I kept the shitty one. What... was... What did I have before? Maybe it wasn't that good if I can't remember it. Was it the one you do a block, you do 20% more damage? I think I picked that one, didn't I? <clears throat> I think I picked that one, and if I did have that one, it had to have been a hammer upgrade. So I actually didn't like my hammer upgrades this run. So I guess it's a good outcome that I got Minotaur Rush. Because this is the strongest thing for shield so far. I love this thing every time. And this is good against armor, so I guess it'll help me kill the mini boss, but it doesn't come up that much during boss fights usually. But I don't think I've never picked it. No, I picked it before, haven't I? So it's not even. So I made no progress on the meta progression thing of like, how many abilities have you done so far? Yeah, still. This is good damage. I haven't been practicing the timing though, so I'd be careful. It's slower too, because it was faster last run, because I had the speed upgrade. I don't think I'll get enough money from an obol run. Mm, this will be gone in four chambers, so I'm not going to get to keep it. I can still upgrade the power of the turrets, though. That's, that's 50 gold wasted, though. It's just not going to... It's not that necessary for being this part. There's a rendering problem here, where it renders under the wall. Whoops. It shows the crystal as being under the wall layer. That crystal's invisible. 
Oh, weird. Everything in this area is shows up above the crystals, which is a just a big render problem. Yeah. Oh, nope, shit. Explosions. Dude, I can't tell what I'm looking at right now. I'm my own worst enemy. Cause every now and then I kick the living shit out of me. Smoke alarm is going off and there's a cigarette. Still burning. This room is dead. It took like one second. And I didn't even... There's a third thing. Wow, I got three loot things in this one room. I gotta keep a careful eye out. They, they hide a bit. Jeez. Gain a bit of wealth. How many rooms are left? Eh, it's not worth splitting the hairs. But if there aren't that many rooms left in the game, it would make more money to sell it, technically. But I don't know how many rooms are left. Exactly. Yeah, I wasn't doing that in my math, was I? You do get a lot of money from that stuff. Ah, shit. Oh, god. Only f it's not fair when you do it, only I get to do it. I've got a tragic case of forgetting I have a shield again, don't I? Oh, fuck. Healing. Get him. Get him. Get him. There you go. Oh, shit. We're not done. Oh, shit. We're not done. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. Kill. <sighs> They're old fucking Poseidon abilities? Oh. Master God Gauge, I guess? Palmed up. All palmed up and ready to go. What the fuck? I just, I just said I've never done four in a row, but here we go. I just did three of them and we don't have it yet. So it's that up in the air about what's going to happen then. They can, they can go crazy with it. Shit, I've done three. My health's really bad. I need better health. Uh, is that a... I just hear a, a fishing spot. fishing there. Shit. Ah, I, bad reflex. I twitched. I even thought, like, that's not the right sound, and then I still pressed it. So I, I might be able to afford the double, the extra palm. God, I need health. I'm about to lose my, my bonus death defy. With the, if I get the obol, let's say there's six chambers. I don't really know if there's six chambers, but that'll take me to about 300. I'll get 100 from the thing. Then I'll get some from pots. I should be able to afford the minotaur heart and the double palm. If I go for the money, which should be 100 money. Isn't that the minimum? Oh, right. I also have the, yeah. Okay. No, I know I did. I did do the room math. Stop lasering me. Can I have some healing, please? What? I came back. I'm being a massive coward right now. 29 health. If I can make it, then I'll get the heal and I'll have three death defies. And I want that. I really don't want to fail run again. Please don't make me fail runs ever again. Fuck. Bad, bad needles. Tempt me not with your shitty darts. Oh god, my cover's gone. Okay. No damage taken. 
I'm desperate. I'm just desperately trying not to take any damage per room. Let this be the last one. Why'd it come back? Just because it hit the wall? We're already at 300. What a powerful fucking... Hey, it's over. Oh my god, why was this one so short? What a powerful Hermes effect. God damn. 10 per room is so much money per run. I have full health. And got bonus damage. 400 as expected. And it wasn't enough a second ago, but entering this room takes it just high enough that I can get the double palm and the health up. Cheers, mate. It's two on one thing, unfortunately. Ah, uh, I wanted my turret to get stronger. Increase the hangover damage of my dash. I'll be dashing around him a lot, so that's good. I don't know how badly I'm going to be attacking him with my charge, but maybe that too. Hmm. <clears throat> but this is 500%, so like, if I'm, if I'm triggering 500%, then that 20% is going to barely affect the total, because it's additive, right? I think this is the best I can do, but I'm not sure. I can use this. Alright, 350 health. Alright, don't fuck up, don't fuck up, don't fuck up. Each violent countenance of Cerberus agrees the Sator Sack must be destroyed. Cerberus appeased, Sator Sack accepted. So yeah, if nothing else... <clears throat> I've seen every boss melt so far, and... Hades isn't super mobile. Obviously, he vanishes over and over again, but he's not super mobile whenever he's around, so... I should be able to do a lot of damage to him, too, just like everybody else. This might be really easy. Or I might be horribly disappointed, I don't know. Every blasted time. You know now what you're doing here is without any purpose whatsoever. Even if I don't slay you myself, you'll simply perish when you cross that threshold there. And yet you still persist. Yeah, so like really you're the dick in this situation. I do. Besides, making these treks helps pass the time during the ongoing underworld renovations. And I'll be in tip-top shape once they're complete. Would that we had a little more support. The renovations could have been complete by now. As ever, you think only of yourself. But if you must insist like this, then you will find me waiting for you once you get here. Every single time. So who's the stubborn one then? Daddy. Ow. Unnecessary damage taken. Good job. Ah, oh, goddammit. Necessary damage taken again. Why do you keep up this foolishness? You know exactly why. Ow.
Ah, oh, goddammit. I'm currently king of the flukes. Ah. Uh. So. Ah, goddammit. The circle tricks me into thinking I'm safe every time. Okay, it's only one death to fight down. All right then, boy. You've stirred my anger suitably by now. I've charged with my shield zero times. This is fucking sacrilege. You can't kill me. No, it tapped me. I, I, I almost got through the whole phase without taking damage, basically. God damn it, every time. It's got it's on him. He's gonna die. <laughs> Nope. Oh. Okay, we're fine. No matter how many times you beat me, we're family. There's no escaping that. You shall not pass. Yes. Yeah, that was reasonably easy. Baboon. Big, scary, stupid disc. You can increase the base damage per hit, per hit, but the real perk was just the fact that it was a ridiculous... It turned the shield into a thing that can apply my the uh, the fist and exagriff approaches that I did before, where you stack effects or you spam them in ridiculous quantities. You can't quite spam quickly with a shield, but then you have this effect, and suddenly it's like, okay, I have this little... I have I had this little disc that just spams forever. In blood. <laughs> it's I. Welcome back, my son. I'm here, mother. So good to see you again, Zagreus. Since last you left, I couldn't help but think the worst about what happened after I had left. Or soon before. You mentioned Nyx. You don't suppose that she and Hades wanted me out of the way? I just don't think that can be. Though let me ask you, how long did you know father? And Nyx, for that matter. Did they seem trustworthy? Yes. I knew them long enough to have decided, yes, that they were trustworthy. As much as anyone I've ever met. But I also know never to be trusting to a fault. I have to consider the possibility I was deceived. Especially since neither of them is being forthcoming with me even now, right? And yet, I have this feeling something else is going on, Mother. The way that Father speaks of you, the way Nyx speaks of you, I think they care for you. <laughs> well, they have a funny way of showing it, I think. Your father, so... You have to get through him each time you visit me? I do. Mother, what if... 
What if Father thinks that he's protecting you? Have you considered that? Protecting me? Why, Zagreus, what do you mean by that? As you can see, I can fend for myself. Well, uh, you're from Olympus, aren't you? But the gods, none of them seem to know you're here, so... What? How would you know something like that? Zagreus? Ah, oh, curse the fates. You're leaving me again. I... I won't be long. Uh, mm, uh. Oh, hold that thought, Mother. It'll be another two to four hours, but we'll get back to it. <laughs> <laughs>